I'm Sanjit Biswas and I'm the CEO of Meraki. Meraki is a wireless networking company that develops network infrastructure that lets anyone deploy wireless access pretty much anywhere, whether it's on the scale of a building or an entire community or a town. Meraki's mission is to help connect the next billion people to the internet. We've seen that around the world there are billions of people who are using the internet who are online with email and the web but don't have access to it on a regular basis in their homes or at work. With Meraki, we've been able to change the economics of internet access, so it's no longer something that requires a huge expenditure for people who often don't have the money to get online. For them, this has meant a huge change in their lifestyle. They're able to participate with the rest of the world on the internet, get access to the same information, whether it's entertainment or job listings or sports scores, they're really plugged into the rest of the world. An interesting example of a Meraki network was one that came up at a low-income housing development in San Francisco. This was a network that a few of us helped deploy over the course of, uh, of a weekend when we were volunteering at the housing community. Three of us took our wireless repeaters, plugged them in across the housing complex with the help of some of the residents. Over the course of a few minutes, the community went from zero internet access to having free Wi-Fi throughout their, their buildings and homes. This meant that people were able to get online, and as we talked to people and asked them what they were using it for, the stories were fascinating. We heard um, of uses everywhere from kids getting online, watching YouTube videos, and getting on MySpace, to adults finding jobs, grandmothers looking up recipes on the internet, and then uh, aunts and uncles communicating with their nephews and nieces across the country using voice over IP technology just because it was much lower cost. By changing the economics of access, it's fascinating to see the impact that it has on people's lives. With TV white space spectrum being unlicensed, it would allow us to build networks that cover much larger area and propagate into areas that don't currently have access. For example, at lower frequencies, signals propagate much farther, which means that we'd be able to connect rural communities where access is not currently available. It also helps propagate through walls and other urban uh, obstructions that get in the way of wireless signals. So for example, if you were connecting a business district or an apartment complex, you could deploy far fewer of these devices. Unlicensed wireless spectrum has been key to Meraki's success. Uh, without it, Meraki probably wouldn't be around. For a technology company, it's important for us to have technologies that anyone can get their hands on to increase the adoption uh, and reduce the amount of friction it takes to deploy these networks. Unlicensed wireless spectrum has let us deploy networks anywhere in the U.S. without requiring a huge regulatory process. As we look forward, we look forward to the use of more unlicensed spectrum because it increases the capacity of our networks, lets us serve more users, and lets us cover wider areas with our technologies. Hopefully, in the long run, this will help connect more people to the internet and provide them with access to information.